guys, welcome back. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you three super, super quick top knots that you can do in under five minutes. So if you want to see how to achieve that, keep on watching. Okay, so this is the first one I'm going to show you how to do. This is more of a messy kind of low key top knot that I do. So for this one, you just kind of want to get your hair up like messily. Like don't worry about it being too smooth back or anything like that. You want it to just be kind of like haphazard a little bit. So then you're going to secure your hair in a ponytail and at the last pull through, keep a little friend out there just like that. So then you're going to take the length of hair that's left and you should be able to do this with almost all lengths of hair. It's just going to matter how many bobby pins you need to use. So you're just going to swipe it around like so. And for the initial secure, I like to take one of the really big strong bobby pins and secure the majority of my hair in the back. And then my bobby pins get stretched out like this and I like them that way for securing large chunks of hair. So I like to just go through and start securing. Now the majority of the hair is secured, but you're going to have these little hairs that want to come out. And for those, I just sort of secure them in the middle like that. And that is the entire look. And then you can sort of, <clears throat> you will notice some little hairs kind of popping out to say hello. Get in there, you little bastard. And that is the whole look. And from there, you can pull hair down. You can make it as messy and pulled out as you want. But that is one of my favorite buns. And that is look number one. Simple as pie. You even have time to drink some iced coffee. Okay, for look number two, this one is super easy and again, very casual. You want to go ahead and pull your hair up as normal. Again, this can be as messy or as tight as you so choose. I don't really have a lot of patience to get my hair as like neat and tight as other people do, but if it's for like a certain event, of course you wanna spend a little time smoothing down the flyaways and stuff like that. So for this one, you're just going to take your hair, twist it like so, so it's super tight, and wrap it around the base of itself until you come all the way full circle. Then when it's like this, I like to smush it down a little bit, grab my hair elastic, and start securing. Okay? So once you have that, of course you can leave it like that if you want to, but I like to smush it down and secure with bobby pins. So again, I'm taking that really strong, thick bobby pin because it does the job, I'm telling you. I'm taking another big, thick one, and I'm basically just sticking it into the top of my hair to pull that bun down and then securing it into my head. And you're gonna have these like crazy flyaways. You can um, mat that down with hairspray easily and like a toothbrush or something that is really gonna catch those hairs. So you can continue to sort of pull pieces down as you see fit. And that's your kind of basic ballerina bun. Okay, for the third bun, I'm going to take a regular elastic. Of course, I pick the junkiest, most stretched out elastic known to man. Um, so for this one, I'm going to pull my hair up into a rather tight ponytail. Again, as you can see, I don't even use a brush for this step because I really don't care enough to. But of course, you do whatever you're comfortable with. So you're going to actually secure your entire hair in a ponytail. And you're going to leave it like so. There you go, you have your basic ponytail. Now you're gonna take two, you're gonna separate your ponytail in half, take the two sides and twist them outwards away from each other. Your hair will get caught up, so just do it a few times so that it goes smoothly. Then you're gonna take your hair into one hand and you're going to twist it together around the base of your head, of your ponytail. Again, you're going to take that big, biggest bobby pin, and that's going to be your main secure point. And then from there, you can kind of 
mold it to how you see fit and how you want it to look. So I'm gonna pull that big twist over. I'm gonna secure it with a bobby pin. And this one is a little bit more just sort of like, it looks more complex, like complicated than it is, but you have some fun like twists in there. So just go through and secure bobby pins as you see fit. And this is one of those that kind of turns out slightly different every time you do it. Sometimes you absolutely nail it and it looks like professionally done and other times, like this time, it kind of just like looks like a little poop emoji. Um, but either way, I like it, it's one of my go-tos. Okay, so for the final bun, I'm gonna take that same just basic hair elastic and again, secure my hair in a ponytail first. And I like to put my ponytail just kind of right there on my head. If it's too high, it looks stupid, and if it's too low, it doesn't look good at all. So that kind of place on my head works pretty well for me. Okay, so for this step, basically I'm gonna take a chunk of hair, probably an inch to two inches wide, and I'm gonna start to circle it around the base of my ponytail. And essentially what we're gonna do is pin this hair and continue to build it around in a circle. Okay, so now I'm gonna take one piece from the other side just to keep it like balanced because you don't want it to be really heavy on one side. And then just again, wrap it around the base. and secure and split that last little bit in half and secure and that last piece Okay, so now that you have everything, woo! Now that you have everything in place, you can kind of mold it to be more or less messy. So typically when I do this top knot, I want it to look a little bit more polished. And to do that, you can always put like a little pomade in your hair prior to this whole thing and that's going to make it a lot smoother and not like frizzy as you can see on my hair. Um, so if I want it to look a little bit more polished I like to just pull down the strays and secure them into place and then I will typically go through with a hairspray after the fact and um, make sure everything is just smooth. And that is the third bun. Okay, that's it guys. I really hope you liked this video. I hope some of you are gonna try and recreate some of these. I hope it made your morning a little bit easier. It certainly makes my morning easy when I need to get ready really, really quickly. Um, yeah, that's it. I will see you in my next video.